Good afternoon, everybody. I didn't even plan to stream today. Well, actually, I did. I said I was going to stream Friday, so here I am. I was going to stream at like 9 p.m., but had a dentist appointment and blah, 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 life, life, life. Who gives a shit, right? Let's just dive right into some fucking super odd. This game's pretty fucking addictive. Pretty fucking addictive. So I didn't do too much on this endless arena. Let's give it a shot. Hi, Cursor Emi. Hi, Reed Dragon. Hi, Black Deck. Oh, yeah. I remember why I didn't do that well on this one. So uh, we'll, we'll just try to beat three. So that guy's just going to punch. Oh, he's right up on me. Fuck you. Okay, we'll just grab something else. Yep. I can use this sword pretty well. And there is a gun right there. Oh, hey. I don't like you very much. I'm going to get rid of him. Get rid of that fucker. Oh, no dodging that. Alright. I, I did better than that, that first attempt, but uh, this isn't my favorite stage, but that makes it all the more fun to play, doesn't it? Ah, shit. Jack McDonald asked, what's, uh, what happened to the Mega Man streams? Well, to be honest, I don't know how Capcom really feels about those. You know, they're okay with you playing their games, but... I don't know, for some reason I have a feeling eventually somebody would have caught wind of those and just nuked my channel or done some bullshit over it, so those had to go, sadly. I backed them up, they, they, they still exist, but, uh, you know, YouTube has a policy against re-uploading and, I don't know, that's something I'm gonna have to ponder. Like, how, how am I gonna make that work, if I can at all? Okay, so I got two assholes with pistols here. I can dodge and slice these bullets, so that won't be too big of an issue. Shit. Well, I guess I better shoot him. Well, I'm doing better than I did that first attempt, but, um, maybe, maybe try to go over 10 here, huh? Fuck. At least I get a gun this time. Yeah, it's the shotgun guys on this map that really get me. They, uh, don't give you, uh, well, they give you cover, but you're always getting spawned on in this one. So you pretty much just need to be spinning around in circles the entire fucking time. Uh, but I broke 10 at least. Whoa, almost walked right into that shit. Yeah, being surrounded and dealing with the shotguns isn't... Oh, fuck. Oh, I should have shot him, but I thought he'd be stunned for at least a little bit longer. Oh, that that was a decent run, but eh. Not, not so much into that map. Well, I didn't do that much of Lab 18th. We'll, we'll give that another shot, too. Why not? Oh, uh, Thomas Sheldon says the game speed's been increased about 400%. Well, that's fun. 
It's different. I mean, you know, maybe it's bad, but eh, sometimes an unbalanced patch is kind of fun. It gives you a little bit of a different perspective on the game. And yeah, I do notice those guys are moving way quicker than they used to, huh? That's fine. We're playing on hard mode. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I am uh, moving away from this area. Ah, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I can dodge the pistol fire, no problem. But, <laughs> can't dodge shit that I'm not looking at. Okay, that's a straight... I'm not sure what they want from me here, but uh, I'll figure it out. Thankfully, that guy seemed to have shot his buddy. That makes things a little bit quicker for me. Go ahead and toss that nearly empty gun. Kill that fucker. Get that one too. This area leaves me pretty much continuously surrounded. I kind of like the pistol the best. It gives you the most wiggle room, but, um, you know, the assault rifle is all right. You can block shot. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's that fucking. Oh, is, is there an issue? Is there a fucking issue? Well, let me let me look at that. Uh, you know, sometimes these streams uh, aren't perfect and they require a little bit of tweaking. But yeah, if it's not showing the full screen, then I... Yep, okay, yeah, it's doing that fucking thing again. Well, no problem, I, I can fix that. I don't even know why it's showing those old uh, internet pages. I, I closed that out ages ago. This shit... Oh, no, I don't, I don't want Flock Mod open, but I do want to stretch this shit over. Ah, yeah, there you go. It's really weird it was showing that web page. I, I, I wasn't... That page is not open. As you can see down here, Chrome is not open. Some weird, funky-ass shit, but, you know, I'm still learning this shit. Okay, back to the fucking game. Maybe bring chat up again. Yeah, I guess I, I should have checked that before I started. That That's my bad. Yeah, I can blame the software for it, but, you know, when you fuck up, you fuck up. It's like crashing your car into a fucking wall and going, Oh, what's this wall doing here? You know, you, you, you crashed your car, you know. People don't fucking take responsibility anymore, man, I'll tell you. A relative of mine who, who's not... Well, okay, I, maybe I give, gave them a little bit too much credit in the past. I thought, oh, well, he, he says he works with computers. He, he must, you know, he's IT, he says. He's smart. Well, what this dumbass motherfucker did is that he um, had a technical problem with Windows. You know, that, that happens. I just had a technical problem. If I didn't know how to fix it, I need help. So he contacts quote unquote Microsoft and gets support. And the guy from quote unquote Microsoft says, you need to install this remote viewing software on your computer so we can control your computer and fix it for you. And he goes, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. So he installs the remote viewing software, which gives them complete control over his computer, and they take all of his information. Of course, he doesn't realize this yet. He's getting all of his fucking information stolen. And, well, <laughs> after that, it gets worse. He fell for... I, I don't even know all the details of this part, because he was fucking blubbering and crying about... But I didn't get all of it. The important thing is the people that tricked him into thinking they were Microsoft and got him to install remote viewer on his computer to where they could access all of his files, including a social security number, bank account. Oh, we shined each other's bullets. That was pretty cool. Anyways, they, they accessed his social security number, his bank accounts, all of his personal information, all that shit. They just dragged it all over to China. I mean, in, in case you didn't get it by now, those people aren't Microsoft. He got a... Uh, fished but um anyways after they <laughs> took all of his goddamn information and all of that after he gave it no they didn't take it after he gave it to him willingly for the most part they charged him fourteen hundred dollars 
They gave him a bill and they're like, you need to pay this $1,400 bill or we're going to come and fucking sue you. He's like, oh shit, I owe Microsoft $1,400 for scanning my computer remotely. So he sends them 1400 bucks. <laughs> they take it and just fucking vanish. And then after a little bit, he realizes, hey, wait a second, my computer's still broken. And he starts researching shit a little bit further. He's like, wait a second, that's not Microsoft. And he goes around demanding his money back and... Of course, his money's in China now. It's never coming back. The way law, the law operates over there, they're pretty much... The government over there pretty much endorses that kind of stuff because it simulates their economy and it's just free money, right? So after all that, after, you know, fucking all that up, he manages to get the bank to reimburse him. Because, you know, bank accounts do that. If somebody defrauds you... Well, not defrauds you, but if somebody steals your money, like if they, they attack, they compromise the security of your account... Banks usually take responsibility for it since it's their problem. Like, it's their security issue. But once they found out that he voluntarily gave up his money and just paid these people who stole his identity and all of his information, the bank was like, oh, no, 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 no. So he was uh, 1400 and a hawk. Blubbered, cried, and just begged to me like, <laughs> oh, I got ripped off. I got... No, he, wouldn't, he wasn't even like, I got tricked. He, he was trying to make it sound like they hacked him. Like he like he, he had his uh, computer, his, his computer machine hacked. And uh, after I gave him the money, because obviously bitching at somebody that you're not going to help, they don't have any reason to listen to you. They're just going to be flippant and be like, well, if you ain't going to help me, then just shut up. So considering he has kids, and I don't want his kids eating, you know, out of fucking... I want his kids eating canned beans for the next month. Because the 1400 was all this guy had. Like, I'm pretty sure whoever hacked him, not hacked him, whoever convinced him to just give him all of his shit, asked, oh, well, how much money do you have in your bank account? We'll, we'll, we'll just bill you based on that. And he probably said the exact number that he had in his bank account. So even if it was legit, he's a terrible negotiator. But after they stole all of his fucking money, and I gave him the money back after the bank said, no, nah, no, nah, we're, we're not, we're not going to fund your stupidity. He had the gall to continue crying to me about it. Like he got fraud. He, he was, he was a victim. He, I'm the victim. I, I didn't mess up. They, they exploited me at. I had to tell him in front of his kids, he's a fucking moron. I had to tell him in front of his kids that the bank was right. The bank shouldn't refund you. And yeah, you're not going to get your fucking information back. You gave your social security address and fourteen hundred dollars to some asshole in China. You ain't seen that money back. The only reason you're getting that money is because I'm giving it to you out of fucking pity. And if you do it again, I ain't bailing you out. So, <clears throat> geez, you know, I'm still not over that. You know, I, I get I fucking leave the dentist office. And that's what I return to. It's like, <laughs> they, 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 fucking, they, they fucking hacked me. They hacked me. And after I got all the fucking information, it turns out he just spilled it all over. Just fucking here, take my fucking identity. Take my fucking money. And I guarantee you, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I got it. I gave him 1400 out of my own pocket. You know, the, the guy in China has the 1400 but they also have his social security number. So he's going to get his fucking identity stolen. And that's going to cost a lot of money, too. And I'm not putting the bill for that. Like, I'll, I'll put the bill for the 1400 so his kids ain't going to, like, be hungry. But he's going to have to fucking... He knows now. He, he fucking knows that's going to happen. I made sure that he knows. So he's going to have to fucking work that out on his own. You know, he's going to have to work out the finances of uh, making sure his identity isn't completely exploited for monetary gain on his fucking own. Cause what more can I do? Here, here's 1400 bucks. Here's advice on how not to let it happen again. But you know, what do you do for somebody that stupid? It's gonna happen again. Somebody's gonna say, oh yeah, see, I, I work, I work for Apple and I need all of your credit card information here. Just fucking ridiculous. Uh, Slam a cast, who are you talking about? A uh, relative. Yeah, if it wasn't a relative, I probably wouldn't give as much of a shit, but... You know, you, you, the kids... They they ain't rich to begin with. So, it's not like they, ha they, don't, they don't even really get any good food on them right now. 
fact, I should probably like go by the grocery store and buy them some sandwich stuff. <laughs> Cause I got a feeling that 1400 is gonna get entirely spent on fucking ah uh, identity theft stuff, which he needs. Cause you know, with the social security number stolen, all of a sudden he's gonna have all. Wow, there there's five hundred thousand dollars in debt attached to my name. Where did that come from? I didn't buy anything in Malaysia. What's this? You know, just fucking pure goddamn stupidity. And you know what? I don't think you can call it ID theft in this circumstance. He like, he willingly handed over the money. He willingly gave them control of his computer. Sure, he didn't just give over his social security number, but you know, I got a feeling that the hackers knew he was this stupid. They would have just asked for a social security number and he would have been like, oh yeah, here's my social security number. Fix my computer problem. Just ridiculous. And this is coming from a guy who, um, when I had an extended stay over at his place due to some personal, you know, that's another reason why I did it. They, 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 it's not like they didn't help me out before, but I mean, come on, a, co a, a day over at their place while my house is getting fumigated. It's not exactly a $1,400 uh, favor, but you know, I, I, I stood over there. I, their family, I forgot what I was talking about. Cause I'm kind of in a blood rage right now and I don't even care that I'm not getting a high score I'm just having fun shooting these fuckers it's good relief but what it all goes back to is what I was talking before nobody people don't take responsibility you saw that error at the beginning of the video I didn't blame OBS for it if I did I, I did it jokingly that was my fault but motherfuckers like him and a lot of other people they, they get an issue like that they get even bigger issues and they just go wow I got exploited. I've been hacked. The program's broken. This is broken. Instead of just, you know, being real about it. I, I think they think if they don't claim that they're being exploited, nobody will feel bad enough to help them. Which is wrong in their case. I just felt bad for the kids. <laughs> but you know, what, what do you do? What do you do? I, I can't help those kind of people. I just try not to be that selfish and stupid. You know, if I make a mistake, I do my best to own up to it. Fucking assholes. Yeah, I don't mean to harp on that subject, but you know, to get back from the dentist jamming needles and shit down my throat to uh, him blubbering like someone like grandma just died or some shit. <laughs> Be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. my life is ruined. We're in so much trouble. And finally getting getting into spill, which by the way was like pulling nails to just get him to tell me exactly what happened. Oh, uh, and he's still going on like, I'm gonna go sue them in China. I'm gonna. Find out where they are in China and go get them. It's, it's like, fucker, you can barely operate your computer. You're not, first of all, even if you could afford to go to China, which you can't, even if you snuck on a freight boat, you wouldn't be coming back. The Chinese government isn't going to listen to you on that. They're not going to go, oh, oh, honky motherfucker, you got defrauded? Oh, well, well let, let's put our, let's put some government fucking money down and finding the people that defrauded you won't get you your money back white man that ain't fucking happening like i honestly believe any politicians in china would just literally laugh in his face and go ah, ha, 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 dumb round eye i would do it i mean fuck and you all should be pissed too because that's making us all look stupid just ridiculous yeah, you know the enemies are moving faster but the bullets are moving faster too and I kind of like that it's making it well it feels like it's making it easier to aim a oh, new endless mode unlock that's nice
Yeah, I am xenophobic. Call your friends dumb round eyes. I like round eye. I think it's funny. And yeah, may maybe I'm being harsh in some regards, but you know, what do you do if somebody's like so fucking stupid that they're a danger to themselves and their family? Like, I I'm not about to call CPS because the guy's a fucking moron, but you know, if it happens once, it's going to happen again with somebody like that. They're not going to learn. It's like, I just bailed them out and they're going to think, oh, I could fuck up whenever now because I got people that'll feel bad for me. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Ah, my baby boy is gonna starve. Ah. Fucking asshole. Like, he, he's lucky he accidentally got a woman pregnant. Because that's the only thing that saved him, relatively. I mean, I, I'd say, I say it saved him, but... Man, this level's pissing me off. <laughs> yep, I'm out of this one. Oh my god. Yeah, Red Dragon makes a good point. If the Chinese people fixed his computer and didn't charge him anything, he would never know. It would it would be like It'd be at the point where it's like, hey, you have 18 million in credit card debt, Mr. Who, what your name is. But I don't entirely blame him for just ripping him the fuck off and taking the money immediately either, you know? It's like, why not? That's a lot easier than doing all this credit fraud. Xbox asks, why did you have 1400 cash? Because I save money. It's not like I had that money to just throw around. That puts me in the red right now. You know? It's like, I, I, I can't just drop 1400 and be like, well, still saving money. No, that's that's like just taking a chunk right out of my savings because he's a fucking idiot. So, you know, they may as well have stolen my money at this point. Fuck. Yeah, I should probably use hot switch more often. Fuck. I like this level. I mean, yeah, I'm surrounded again, but I'm okay with it at this point. Yeah, you're right. These fuckers are moving way faster than last time. Okay, nothing I could do there. No, I could have swapped. I never hot swap. I need to do that more often. Anyways, I could bitch about that all day. I just figured it was a fun, fun story for me to tell you about. You know, isn't that, isn't that fun? Isn't that fucking funny? Isn't that, doesn't that make you laugh? Doesn't that make you fucking laugh? Oh, oh, fucking Uncle Hellbent's out 1400 and some jackass is just running around with his fucking relative's fucking social security number. <laughs> and they're gonna do so much to fuck him over it. And I don't have the energy. I don't have, I don't have the energy or the fucking desire to help him sort out identity theft. That's, that's a fucking, that's like months of work. And even then, you can't fix it all. It's fucking ridiculous. That's real fun for me. See, I hate to say it, but if it, if it gets worse to where that that money wasn't enough, he he's just fucked. Like his kids are just gonna, they're gonna have to get some fucking government assistance or some shit. Which I'm surprised they're not on it already. But you know. You can't count on old Uncle Hellbent to fucking foot the bill for your stupidity every single fucking day. Like, the reason I have money to help him out is because I'm careful with it. 
I give a shit about it. I work. I do this for fun. I do Danger Dolan for fun. You know. It's fucking stupid bullshit. But hey, you know, at least I do have the Danger Dolan gig. I, I get I get a little bit of a little bit of cheddar off this too. I mean, it's not fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> not even between this and the Dolan gig. It's not polite to talk about how much you make, though. Let me put it this way. I am in the red because of that dumb fucker. And granted, like I said, I didn't have to give him the money, but... You know, I maybe I'm too nice for my own good, but something about them kids having to suffer because he's a fucking moron makes me too angry to just let it go. I'm one of those people that believes inaction is just as bad as, you know, intentionally harming somebody most of the time. Like, you're not responsible for everybody, but if you can help and choose not to, then, well, you can't exactly be like, you can't sleep at night if you're a decent person, I guess is the best way to put it. But, uh, you know, I did my part. At this point, I I'm going to sleep like a fucking baby, and if they have, like, some kind of horrible financial collapse, they're just going to have to fucking deal with it. Like, what, what do I need to do? Take out a fourth job to fucking take up for people that are too fucking stupid to look out for themselves? Sh should I breathe for them? Should I chew their food for them? Yeah, I never spot swap, goddammit. Anyhow, beyond all that, I'm doing all right. Yeah, this game's gotten much faster. Jesus Christ. Yeah, normally I wouldn't even bring up personal shit like that. It's just... How much can you take? How much can you take before you just gotta, like... Let people know how fucking stupid some people are? I don't even know. Don't worry about me, I'll be all right. Like, I'm not about to pull a fucking hypocritical move to start e-begging and be like, oh, I heard the fucking, I heard the fucking help somebody out, give me money for helping them out. Then we get in this big old fucking debt chain and I'm not all about that. Just w watch the stream and have fun. Listen to me, bitch. There you go. That's all the debt that I need paid. It's already chewed him out and... All I got out of that was a bunch of sob. Uh -huh. Poor me, I was exploited. Fucking ridiculous. Should have thrown the gun at it. Yeah, Xbox X. He's probably gonna get ripped off by the Nigerian prince next time.
Jack Daly says, no, your life won't get better. It only gets worse. Eh. It depends on your attitude. Like, yeah, you'll lose your innocence. And you'll, you, everything will become more increasingly boring as you get older. But if you think your life's just going to get worse, then you're one of those people that's just easily defeated. You're just a little pushover. And if you're going to be a pushover like those people I helped out, then yeah, your life's going to be miserable. Life, life ain't easy for pushovers. Not much of a quitter myself. Like, I, I can see how easy it is to get caught up in that attitude. It's like, nothing's ever gonna be good. Everything's fucking bad forever. But that's the attitude of somebody who's never gonna be happy anyways. It's like, y your happiness died a long time ago. Or even worse, you're one of those people to where it's like, Oh no, I had a bad day. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you you surely do know the depths of human misery. You're so fucking worldly and experienced. You've been through so much. That one single event ruined your whole fucking day. Or aren't you, aren't you a brave soul? Aren't you just a fucking philosophical powerhouse showing us... Showing us dumb normies how f the real deal is, how the real, 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 real world works. Ah. Wow, they really did make this game more difficult. <laughs> Holy shit. I know that this is a good place to be. I need to stock up in one of these corners. Just chill. I mean, I understand the urge to complain, you know? that That's understandable. But when every little tiny issue becomes a huge fucking ordeal, then you're a pussy. Life doesn't get better for pussies. You just keep getting fucked if you're a pussy. Hmm. Yeah, I guess because of this patch, the game's just in permanent super fucking balls hard mode, which that's fine. God damn it. Uh, my bones ask, are we going to have anyone new in the Saturday night stream? That depends. Uh, I have certain guests that have shown interest that will more likely than not being more likely not show up, but I can't guarantee when or if they'll show up i mean they say they'll show up but i'm not paying these people so i can't like hold them to it i got a lot of yeah maybe maybe this saturday kind of stuff going on you know what i mean like if i have time i will and i understand that i'm not now if i was paying them and they said yeah def definitely saturday and then they didn't show up and be like oh uh i i guess i'm not cashing your check i'm not <laughs> gonna honor your check then asshole but these people are volunteering to come on so the fact that they'd even volunteer is nice. Okay. This is taking a lot to get used to. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how the guns just deteriorate either. I could use like a little pile of guns here, but fuck you, video game. <laughs> okay, I didn't even see how I got hit there. Awesome ones. <laughs> awesome one. Eight eight three says I have an ear infection. Feel sorry for me. Well, I'm sorry you have an ear infection, but if you're gonna act like it's the fucking end of your life, well then fuck you and your ear infection. <laughs> I hope you get. I hope it gets worse. I hope you get. I hope your other ear gets infected. <laughs> uh, not really, but you know what I mean. I doubt that you're actually like that, but I know people like that. 
Like, you know what fucking phrase I hate? And I mentioned it here earlier. I didn't say how much I hated it, though. But, um, people who say, fuck my life. What, what's the acronym? FML? Fuck my life? Such a melodramatic fucking saying. You know, it all, it's always falling something like, I dropped my coffer. FML. Fuck my life. Okay, well, your life must not, your life must be worth about a buck fifty. If dropping your fucking Dunkin' Donuts coffee is like a life altering event in your life, that's, that's just sad. Oh, good, awesome one. I'm glad you're being sarcastic. To be honest, my expectation for people on the internet is so low. I have a really hard time reading sarcasm. Hell, e even in voice, but then again, a lot of people are just bad at conveying sarcasm. <laughs> it's like, you really gotta lay it on thick, you know? Because we have an acronym, fuck my life, you know? It's like, oh, fuck my life. I dropped a fuck. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I can't even think of anything that, I mean, it would have to be pretty bad. Like, I, I flipped my car and severed my spine and now I shit in a bag. Fuck my life. There you go. It's a little bit more on the, on the nose, don't you think? I mean, at least in my opinion. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Red Foo Harper says, You mad because they fucked your wife? You know, even in that situation, I wouldn't be fu saying fuck my life. It'd be like saying fuck my wife because you fucked my wife. I got more self esteem than that, though. I wouldn't be like, oh, My wife don't love me no more. <laughs> That codependent bullshit. Ugh. That's gross. Like, maybe I'm just selfish, but there isn't anything less attractive to me than a codependent person. Because you know what happens then? You become bored of that person, and what's the first thing that comes out of their mouth? I'll kill myself if you leave. Anybody who tries that on me is going to be sorely disappointed with my response. Be like, well, I'm probably uh, try uh, painkillers, bottle of whiskey, and a uh, lukewarm bath. That'll do the job, no problem. Be like, no, you're, you're supposed to fucking be sad and be like, oh, baby, I'll stay with you. Fuck that. Like, how, how long do people live? Like, on average, like, fucking 60 years? I'm not gonna spend the last half of my life, or, I guess, however you want to portion it out, dealing with somebody's fucking emotional problems. Like, I'd rather, ha I'd rather you lose your life now than for me to lose the last half of my life having to kiss your ass and pamper your dumb fucking stupid bullshit. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not completely cold. You know, somebody had a bad day and they're like, Hey, I want to talk because I had a bad day. Things are bad. I listen, but don't be like, I'm going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> fucking melodrama, man. And I know why people do it is because they ask for help so much that they know if they don't make a big fucking stink about it, if they don't make everything like a fucking apocalyptic event like the fucking sky's falling and everybody's gonna die then nobody's gonna help them because they're always like i need help 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 oh, oh, oh. and i think they burn that out of their systems as little kids you know eventually their parents are like no fuck you susie you know you eat your fucking eat your fucking sprouts you ain't getting any chocolate milk they're like oh you know. 
I don't even blame the parents, you know. I, I, I'm I'm not one of those people that's against blaming the parents. The parents are fucking idiots, but I mean all of them, but a fair portion of them. <laughs> a lot of people are just born to bitch. And look, I, I understand some of it. Like, I'll, I'll give some sympathy for the devil here. Work sucks. Why would anyone want to work, right? Like, what I do for Dolan's awesome. I don't even consider it work. I get paid for it, and that's nice. I get, like, enough recognition to make this channel kind of work. That's really cool. But I have another job. <laughs> and if I could give it up, I totally would. I mean, why wouldn't I? Uh, Red Foo Harper, I've been on this for like 40 minutes now, and it feels like it's been 15 because I've just been doing nothing but complaining. Though I like to call it an observation. It makes it sound a lot less like I'm bitching. Thirsty. Yeah, like ideally, if I was completely uh, sane, I wouldn't even be bothered. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> those people don't like their lives. Well, that, that's that's sad for them. But, you know, even me, even even with my understanding of things, not that I'm some kind of fucking savant or anything like that, but even though I kind of get it, I still realize I fall a little, we all have a little bit of that bitchy, like, <laughs> in us. The key is recognizing it and not letting it get to you. And you know what? The the best one of the best ways to cope with that is just to bitch out loud. The people that listen though, don't don't force someone to listen. I think that's kind of where I draw the line and where it starts to get a little bit like eh to me. It's like if you wanna if you wanna complain and you got an audience to listen to you, a friend that'll listen to you, awesome. You know, get it out of your system. But if you gotta be like Okay, here, here's a good example. Say you're a moderately... No, 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 no. Let's just throw this out of the equation. Let's let's throw looks out of the equation. Let's say you have a JPEG of a cute girl, and you're a dumpy broad or a fucking fat loser, and you use this fucking JPEG of a hot girl to get people to be like, Oh, I'm sorry all those people are mean to you. Man, your life is hard. Let's just say you're one of those people. I almost forgot my point entirely at this point. I'm so angry. <laughs> but okay, let, let's say you're one of those people. Then it is fucked up because you're you're make you're forcing people to be emotionally. You're taking it. You're preying on other emotionally weak people so that they fuck, trying to dodge bullets while doing philosophy. You know, it ain't easy. But basically, what you're doing is tricking other emotionally weak people. To be your bitch, to be to be the person that listens to all your little fucking complaints and how everything fucking sucks. If you force people to listen to your grievances, then well, it's it's codependent to a fault. Like what I'm doing right now, talking to you people is a little bit codependent, but you're not being forced. If you if you get tired of it, say, well, fuck this guy, I'm leaving. <laughs> you can totally do that. I ain't pressuring you to stay. But if you're one of those people that uses uh, looks or loneliness, you know, like emotional uh, baggage, like you, know, you go up to some lonely nerd playing in a video game and going, oh, Barber, oh, oh you, you, you're a lonely one, aren't you? You're so lonely, oh, well, listen to my problems and just become some kind of fucking emotional vampire, then yeah, don't got no sympathy for that devil. But if you're just gonna go online and spew your opinion, well, that's fair. You know, people are kind enough to listen, then they're kind enough to listen. Some people like to be that, like to help too, you know? Like, I'm not gonna lie, there's significant others I have to where if they have a problem, I don't feel like 
it's an emotional burden to listen to them because one i care about them and two they complain in earnest like if something's bothering them it it's for real it's not like it's not like i just wanted attention that's why i said i was gonna fucking shoot myself that's why I sh that's why i slipped my wrist and sent you a fucking instant message on my fucking bloody arms i just wanted attention you know that's fucked and there are tons of people like that They'll do everything they can to get your empathy, your attention, all that other bullshit. And I don't do that. Like, I don't partake in it, and I don't encourage it. Like, the closest I'll come to encouraging it is, like, what happened with uh, my relative in that... Yeah, you're, you're, like, an actual, literal danger. Like, you fucked yourself so bad that you're actually gonna have real-world repercussions for it. It's not just like, whoops, I dropped my latte. I'm gonna shoot myself. Oh, and everybody has a friend like that. If they don't have a friend like that, they have a brother or a sister or mother, father, or uncle, niece, aunt, whatever. Tons of people out there whose primary response to anything that's even remotely difficult in life is, help me, I hate my life, I'm gonna kill myself. Like, I'll, I'll say it, I, I hate those people that are that tell other people to kill themselves, right? I think encouraging suicide is despicable. You know, I, I think pushing people like that's just gross. But, <laughs> that being said, if somebody's saying, fuck my life, I'm gonna slip my wrist because you haven't responded to my text message. It's been 15 minutes and you didn't respond. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Eh, in that case, uh, you know, go ahead. The, the world would be a better place without you. Yeah, GameMan659 says the bad thing about people who fake being depressed and is going to shoot themselves for attention is that there are people who have thought that for real. And I... I, I'm, I think I mangled the shit out of that. I mean, I read that straight. No, no offense to you. I understand, man. You, you don't feel like typing all super proper right now, but the, the sad thing is there's people that threaten that kind of thing and they're, they're not very serious about it. They end up going through with it because you, if you challenge them on their little fucking, you know, their gamble and they're so used to dominating everything. You get these passive aggressive people that can't handle not having the advantage of being on top. So what happens is you get this person that really doesn't want to kill themselves. They kill themselves because you defied them. They're like, well, I'm not going to let Billy get one over on me. I'm going to actually kill myself and then they'll feel bad. So it's not even like a depression thing. It's just, oh. It's that passive aggressive shit. That's really what it is. I'll complain about. There's a dozen different passive aggressive tendencies people have that I can complain about, but at the end of the day, it really mostly does come down to them just being passive aggressive to where they're not going to directly attack you, but they're going to do everything they can to passively dominate you. Not unlike Gandhi or, you know, some other people that go. Well, I'm gonna go on, not, not on really talking shit about Gandhi necessarily, but, you know, th those, they, they, they enacted that strategy of, I'm gonna go on a hunger strike and then you'll be sorry if I die, which totally worked and it, it can be used for good, but it, it's still an underhanded, like emotional nut twister. Like if you're using that, if you're using Gandhi tactics in day-to-day -day life and not like help your people 
so that they don't have to pay an outrageous salt tax, then um, you're an asshole. Let, let me put it this way. Using Gandhi tactics to fuck with people emotionally is like using Hitler tactics <laughs> to dominate people physically, you know? You're using, like, world leader and dictator tools to deal with your everyday fucking relations with regular individuals. It's... It's fucking disgusting. Nope, I looked away from the screen for half a second. Uh... Okay, I got an idea. Whoop! I actually take advantage of this. Yay, it worked! Wow, this game is way faster. I know I've said it already, but holy shit. Oh, Frederick Nietzsche? Yeah, Jack Daly. I know of him. Kind of a emotional pussy, if you ask me, but he makes a lot of good points for an emotional pussy. Great men must wear filth masks, or whatever he said. Hunter Harrison says, Helbin for President 2016 Toxic Hash says, Hashtag Hel Hel Helbin. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, you know, the good thing about bitching is, is that when you're talking to people that have shared experiences, it can be cathartic, because, well, you know, we, we've all dealt with it to a degree, so... It's not quite as fucked as when somebody's just, uh, bitching about how their latte, they didn't get my fucking quad venti latte, it was a triple venti latte, I asked for a quad venti latte, oh fucking, oh, fine, I'll hot swap. Yeah, the hot swap's probably the key to my, uh, success here that I've been missing. Yeah, Gumpy the sexually frustrated milkman says, Hellbent, to be fair, Gandhi was starving himself not because England would feel bad, but because if he died of hunger, the whole country of India would revolt violently against the UK. And yeah, that's right. And it was, um, it was a better tactic than just straight up fuck. See, that's what I get for looking at chat. I still talk to you fuckers, though, because it's fun. I don't care if I'm not super duper fucking video game master. It's all about having fun. But yeah, the grump, grumpy, the sexually frustrated milkman makes a good point. What Gandhi did wasn't bad, but you can employ Gandhi's tactics in a manner that's awful. Like, just fucking terrible. And uh, it's usually not as a world leader, but as a fucking boyfriend or a girlfriend or a acquaintance. And even children do it. Like, I'm gonna hold my breath if I don't get my choco bar. That's literally the Gandhi tactic. Like, the Gandhi tactic is so embedded in human society that children instinctively know how to pull a Gandhi. And I keep mentioning lattes because, yeah, I had friends like that. Like, I wanted a pumpkin spice latte. Fucking star schmucks. You fucking, you know. Okay, you didn't get you didn't get the flavor of coffee that you wanted, but <laughs> you still drank the fucking thing. <laughs> and there you are complaining. Oh, it's the fucking struggles I go through. I can't have my, my fucking coffee the way I wanted it. Like, not that you're wrong to complain about it, but... You know, go go complain to Starbucks. Go go get your fucking refund. Why 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 are you talking to me about that? Why? I mean, what you want me to like go to fucking Starbucks on your behalf? Be like my pampered fucking little bitch friend didn't get the coffee they wanted. You you better you better make this right or I'm gonna politely ask you for a refund. <laughs> Uh, Gump Gumpy the Sexually Frustrated Milkman. You know, I, I mentioned your name a lot, but I, I like your, your style. Yeah, I agree with you. Pumpkin Spice is disgusting. 
The reason it's a seasonal drink is because if they sold it all the time, people would catch on to the fact that it's just a gross cheap flavoring that they put in there so that they can charge you extra. Idola Omega Spiritus. Uh, least favorite word, he asks. Oh, problematic. Because <laughs> problematic is a very low rent way to say, I don't like this. You know, it's, it, it's, it's a way to try to sound like you're explaining something in an intelligent manner, but what you're really doing is saying nothing other than, I don't like this. And, but because you say problematic, it's like, oh, there's, there, there must be some deep logic to this. So I, it's either used to pass the buck and just uh, straight up dodge any kind of critique, or it's used to demonize someone without having to actually explain anything. Or just to uh, dominate the conversation. You say it's problematic, and then people have to go, okay. Why is it problematic? And the person's like, blah, 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 blah. Talking about a hundred different issues that have nothing to do with why it's problematic. But because they said it was problematic, and you gave them the go-ahead to explain it, they use that as a vehicle in order to just dominate a conversation. Uh, yes. <laughs> Sarik F, I'm not a fan of Lacey Green. She's to philosophy as, uh, Pat Robertson is to religion. It's like, I'm a face that people of this certain fucking ideology you like. Get me your money. Get me your attention. I wouldn't call him snake oil salesman because snake oil salesman are more deliberate. I, I think Pat Robertson and uh, Lacey Green drink their own fucking Kool-Aid. Like, oh sure, Pat Robertson owns a diamond mine and he flies around in jets and he's obviously spending that money like fucking crazy, but I think he still believes in Jesus and all that. And I, I still think Lacey Green believes, I'm oppressed. I have a fucking tell I have a fucking popular fucking YouTube channel and I, I get on MTV and I'm oppressed. What the fuck? Like, how come all these oppressed people are, like, all over television and, like, talking to the UN and all this shit? They got, like, so much fucking media power, and they have the gall to go out there and say, I'm oppressed. It's like, it's like the fucking king of England, or the queen of England going out and saying, I'm a victim of the fucking system. It's like, motherfucker, you are the system. You, you are the oppressor. Like, if you were really sincerely oppressed, you would have to take over the TV station. Yeah, Archaic Scorpio, it is ironic how Lacey Green says, Oh, well, sexual sexualization of women is bad. And here, here's her tits and legs on display. It's that double standard, passive-aggressive double standard of, well, see, when anybody else does it, it's bad, but when I do it, well, see, it's empowering, and it's it's good. So, basically, Lacey Green owns tits. Or then you got, like, your fucking Zoe Quinn, and he's like, oh, well, oh, no, even better. Your fucking Brianna Wu's like, fucking, the way they fucking put women in video games is disgusting, and I don't approve of it. Look at my game! And all the fucking women in there are like skinny as fucking handrails with huge tits and latex suits and shit. So like, let, let me tell you how women should look in the video game. <laughs> and it's, her fucking video game designs look just as disgusting in her, you know, opinion. Look just as fucking salacious and sexy as anything else, but oh, uh, well, it's okay because I did it. I'm friends with Anita and Zoe and fucking Randy the fucking whale. So you got cronyism, passive aggressive domination. That's what these people deal in. And it's not just them. It's not just like the crazy rad fems and all these other people. The MRAs and shit do it too. 
Like, if you don't think that they do the same fucking shit, then... Well, I wouldn't say that you're gullible, but... You, you may be letting your biases and your hatred for the other side get the best of you. Well, let me put it this way. The rant, rant films do it worse. I'm not going to deny that. But... It's not like MRAs don't have Patreons. You know what I mean? Granted, a lot of that is preaching to the choir and it's not guilting people like outside of their circle or anything like that. But some of it is. <laughs> but in their defense, I can't think of any huge examples. Like there isn't an Anita Sarkeesian of MRAs, you know? And not everything about feminism is bad. Not everything about the MRAs is bad. It's just these people take a good cause and then they hijack it and then they use it to try to guilt people into like changing video games, like fucking up the Fire Emblem's fucking translation, screwing around with that, censoring all sorts of other shit, um, you know, taking people's money, encouraging people to abuse each other, which honestly is grossly exaggerated, but it happens. On both ends, like fucking, your fucking Randy Harpers and your fucking Sargons of Akkads. Although I don't think that a lot of them do that intent intentionally. When you have a huge audience and you go, well, see, this person's a fucking dick. Don't attack them though. Just super, super swear, you know, we're all good people. It's like, all right, yeah. I'm sure they don't mean it, but yeah, come on. There's a... I can't name any people offhand that I know are deliberately encouraging that kind of thing because that would still be an assumption on my end, but... Eh. <laughs> Let me put it this way. If you go up to a bunch of people that most definitely want to attack somebody that listen to your every single fucking word, then you go up and say, don't attack this person, that would be bad. The first thing that's gonna pop in their head is, oh, I should attack this person. <laughs> but no, nah, I, don't, I don't think I'd blame like Lacey or Sargon. I think that's more of a Brianna Wu. Like, uh, maybe atheism is unstoppable kind of thing. <laughs> like the, the, dr the Drex. You know, the people that, that aren't in it for the money, they're in it to like fuck people over. And the, it's just that passive aggressive shit all over again. It's the, it's the, I'm gonna kill myself. Don't attack this person. If you do this, you're a bad person kind of shit. And people hijack all sorts of stuff. They'll hijack friendships. They'll hijack feminism. They'll hijack men's rights. They'll hijack anything that they can. Anything positive, family, friends, socially, uh, social political uh, stances. They'll take anything good that they can and then corrupt it into this fucked up thing and try to use it to just get leverage on you and try to twist your arm and make you do shit that you normally wouldn't do because let's face it, you're not, you don't want to listen to some dumb bitch whine about video games all day long. You don't want to listen to some spoiled cunt go, eh, my fucking pumpkin spice latte. Eh. Fucking ridiculous. subliminal peacock if video games make people violent then what the fuck happened in the older times that's a good point if video games made people violent why haven't i just gone on a murder spree today why didn't i just like cash in that 1400 and go well today's the day pow 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 why didn't i rob a bank And it goes to another thing that people tend to do, and may maybe I'm guilty of this too, but assuming the worst of literally everything in an opposition to you, you know what I mean? Like somebody disagrees with your opinion. Well, they're clearly wrong about literally everything and they're trying to take over the world and they, 
they're trying to destroy society and they're they're committing crimes against my mind you know most people aren't that important they're not important enough to be uh treated in such a manner well let's just let's just break it down to right versus left we'll make it that much more simple just because somebody's on the right or left side of politics doesn't mean that literally everything that they say is wrong. Like here, I can put up an example. I fucking hate Hillary Clinton, and I ain't a fan of Trump. But it's not like literally everything that they say is wrong. Like, I'm pretty sure if you went up to Hillary Clinton and fucking Donald Trump and asked him... Do you think murder is bad? They'd both say, yeah, murder is bad, but then you got the fucking demagogues on both sides going, oh, well, see, he, he's just saying that. She's just saying that. Really, they want they want to enslave American society and create a white holocaust. Or they, they, they want to kill black people. They hate black people. That's the only reason they don't like me is because they don't like my specific race and they want to they want to eradicate and enslave us. Like everybody's the KKK. Every everybody's fucking uh Thing is that's not how most people are. And you know who's really to blame for all this shit? You know well besides the random psychopaths out there but you know who, who you know who fucking stirs the pot? You know who fucking teases the hornet's nest? Who fucking just encourages it all to the nth degree? It's the goddamn media. It's the people that go out there and say, "Yes, yeah, see this demagogue. They got some good ideas. Maybe you should follow this person who we have a financial incentive to encourage." <laughs> a lot of it just boils down to money on media's end. So you can just follow the money in that circumstance and detect the bullshit, but. Like, I honestly believe if Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump thought that claiming that they would commit suicide if they lost would mean that they'd win the presidency, both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump would be out there on the campaign trail going, I'm going to fucking kill myself if you don't vote for me. I'll blow my brains out. They totally fucking do that. And you know what the media, the media, the dicks that they are, they would push the narrative and go, whoa, we, you better vote for fucking Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton because they may kill themselves. We, we can't lose that. We can't afford it. It will destroy the country. Everything will go fucking crazy. Yo, oh. they'll, they'll lie right through their fucking teeth. They'll make up any fucking thing that they can. Oh, what is there a problem? <laughs> Is is there a problem with the stream? Let, let me let me go take a look. Did it do it again? Jesus! Well, I didn't. Oh wow! 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 I mean, it says the stream's good on my end. <sighs> Maybe it's just glitching in that player. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh wait, we got we got a little, we got a little. Yeah, okay. Hey, bust a clean. That, that's cool. I said your name. You feel better? There you go. Well, that's fun. There, there's a, there's always a little little clown in the fucking car in there. Well, because Gumpy has been a cool dude, I just made Gumpy the sexually frustrated milkman a moderator. There you go. Uh, Deacon Lee, or, Do yeah, D Clan Lee. There you go. I said your name. Yeah, I can't trust chat, unfortunately. 
I can trust Gumpy though. He's all right. Either that or he's pulling a really good long con on me. Da, 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 fucking around with some shit. There we go. Uh, Surfside Gunner says, say M name. Hellbent. Yay. I did it. We've done it, everybody. Seriously, did you people listen to me rant for like an hour and a half about passive aggressive fucking manipulators and shit? And the first thing that pops into your mind is say my name. You know, why don't, why don't you just fucking threaten to kill yourself? Oh, fusion shard productions. Somet sometimes you gotta break an egg to make an omelet. Let it be known, I never said I was a good judge of character, but Re and Gumpy have been all right. So I feel like I can trust them not to just do a bunch of dumb bullshit, but if they do a bunch of dumb bullshit, send me a message on Twitter and I'll, um, I'll fix it. You can, you can tattle on them if they fuck around. I just like to pretend these red guys are all passive aggressive. Like all I hear from them is like, follow me on Facebook, fucking subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, I like you so much, say my name. And then this is the reaction when I say no, they're like, I'll fucking kill you. I'll kill myself. You don't deserve anything, I deserve everything. The world is conspiring against me every day, 24 seven. That's why I don't have anything that I want to have. It's not because I'm lazy. It's not because I don't want to work. It's not because all I know how to do is manipulate people. It's, it's because of people like you that are successful. All you successful people owe me. Why? Well, because I'm oppressed. I'm oppressed by you people that worked hard to get where you are. See, you, you were given the privilege to work hard. <laughs> Oh, the con people have twisted the word privilege so goddamn much. You see, the only reason why you're allowed to work nine hours a day, seven days a week is because of your privilege. And really, you need to just give me all of your money and I'll continue to sit here and work three days a week. Army Big Mac says, Hellbent, have you ever been in a fight? If so, which was the most entertaining? Well, I, I suppose the most entertaining one, and I probably mentioned this before, I don't know. <clears throat> is one time when I was working at a bar, the electricity went out. And what happens when the electricity goes out? Especially around people that are drunk? Well, they their inhibition goes away. They turn into fucking cave people. So, of course, these jackasses start trying to climb up over the bar to steal liquor bottles. Because, hey, it's dark. He'll never notice. He'll never know. How could he possibly see? Well, see, we had we had floodlights on, and while they didn't light up the whole place, I could still see relatively well. It still kind of kind of had a abandoned warehouse type look in the middle of the night, you know, to where there's just enough moonlight going through the windows that you can see the inside. That's pretty much what the place looked like. But I had people on all ends hopping over the fucking walls. I'm not the walls, but the fucking bar, trying to jump over and grab liquor bottles and shit. People are like. Literally grabbing sleeves of plastic cups because they thought they were fucking liquor bottles, I, I assume, and just take it. Or maybe they're just trying to steal the plastic cups. I don't know, but uh, the first thing I did when the power went out is I got all the tip jars down. <laughs> you know, obviously. Because that's 
I would assume that would be the first thing they'd go for anyway. So the tip jars are down. They weren't getting at those. Couldn't do much about the liquor bottles because that, that's like, you know, like 200 bottles. That would have taken... By the time I, I got half of them put up, the other half would be gone. So for the about 30 minutes, it was just me hucking people over the bar left and right. <laughs> like they jump over, I grab them by their fucking belt of their pants, flip them back over the bar. And that, that continued for a time until one of the bartenders managed to find a good flashlight that we had. I, was, I kept telling them, get the fucking flashlight, get the fucking flashlight. And I think they may have been preoccupied hucking people over the bar too, but... <laughs> At the time, it pissed me off, but in retrospect, it was a kind of a fun event. Like, I'm sure, I'm really sure there's a few people that I tossed over the bar like several times in a row. <laughs> but it was like a, it was like a fucking video game, man. Like, I rarely say that to, in regards to real events, but yeah, just left and right hucking people over the bar and you know punching them in the fucking face and shit to stun them. That that what you can make a video game based off that concept. <laughs> You really could. That wasn't necessarily a fight, but eh, I mean, I, I did crack a few people across the head, so. Xbox says, stab them and they won't steal your cups. Yeah, but then I got like blood all over my bar and you know what kind of diseases those people have? I stabbed everybody that caused me issues. I'd have fucking HIV, hepatitis and all that other shit. Jack Daly asks, how tall are you? Tall enough to fuck your ass. Neon Man asks, hey, Hellbent, what's your favorite weapon? Uh, Mossberg 500 shotgun. It's simple. It's not something that you'd use to take on the military. But why would you? Like, <laughs> like it's either the... <clears throat> Mossberg 500 because it's just such a reliable shotgun. Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum revolver because it's just dependable as fuck. Or an SR-25 because it's a civilian ownable semi-automatic sniper rifle. Which I can never imagine myself using, but it is kind of fun to own it. Fuck you, red guy. Taking up my aggression on you bitches right now. And you know, I talk about a lot of uh, malicious motherfuckers like your Brianna Woos and uh, certain other individuals, but individual situations. If you get that reference, then good on you. You have a good taste. But anyways, uh, more to the point. A lot of people learn that passive aggressive shit subconsciously and it goes back to that children thing I was talking about. A fucking four year old knows how to do a Gandhi. You know what I mean? Like they, they can pull a fucking Gandhi on you without even knowing that they're doing a passive aggressive hunger strike. I'm holding my breath if you don't give me that candy bar kind of action and it's just something that comes natural to people so there are people that do it and they don't realize that they do it. Not saying that makes it okay. <clears throat> but it does uh, mean that you shouldn't always assume that everybody's being malicious. Some people just don't know any better. And while you don't have to pity them, it does kind of make you a better person if you're more willing to, like, learn something about somebody and uh, help them become better people. If you're not, if you don't want to help people become better and you're just looking to fucking punish people, you're not any better than your fucking Brianna Woos and Anita Sarkeesians are like, eh, you fucking punish everybody. Give me power. You know, you're the... You're the same side of the fucking same authoritarian coin at that point. Like, yeah, for the most part, people should know better. But if you're not willing to, like, let people change, then you're kind of a dick. Although I will admit, I can understand the frustration in that because there are a lot of people that don't enter a conversation in earnest. 
And by that, I mean they, they enter a conversation and they act like, well, well, we'll have a discussion and we'll find out who, who's correct about this issue. But what it really is is them coming in and saying, I'm right, 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 I'm right. And you know, that's not, that's not a conversation. It's, it's just somebody like saying, well, yeah, let's, let's just have a conversation where I just fucking dominate the whole fucking conversation and try to paint you out to be a fucking horrible monster. Well, you know, you know, you made it decent in uh, YouTube when people will come to you to spam. And you know, what? I'll give spammers credit. That's not passive aggressive. That's just flat out aggressive. It's like, I'm gonna get them to pay attention to me. They, they will, they will acknowledge my existence. I will hammer on this keyboard all day. I mean, it, it's still pretty pathetic, but it's not as bad as the passive aggressive people. So. You're you're not a complete monster. You're just kind of pathetic. I mean, yeah, you know the Brianna Woos and Nita Sarkeesians have bigger balls than you do, and they're more talented than you are, and they'll reach a bigger audience than you could ever dream of, because <laughs> your only skill is to agitate. They agitate artfully. You agitate like a little baby. Like a little baby boy. Here we go. Sorry to anybody watching this in post. It seems I've uh, attracted some weirdos, which is fine. Yeah, I guess I could swap it up, huh? I like this level, but man, they've really sped this game up. Yeah, I unlocked a couple of new levels. We'll try Office. Yep, it's an Office. Johnson, I said give me those reports at nine. You're the worst secretary ever. <laughs> you killed your friends. Oh, it's fun. Oedipus Rex ask what other games do you play oh I play lots of games actually uh, sub level zero doom command and conquer Diablo hearthstone fucking lots of games
Why do we use typewriters still? Stop stealing office supplies. People just leaving office katanas all over the place. It's unacceptable. I can't work in these conditions. You fired! Nah, that one's too easy. X Fox says, try out Beam and G Drive. I don't know, maybe someday. I will say one thing about donations. The more money that gets made through the channel, the more likely I am to just buy stuff I typically wouldn't just to play here. Like, I'm going to buy Dark Souls 3 and play it here. That's a given. I don't know if I'm just going to buy Beam MG, you know. I've already got enough people draining money out of me like fucking parasites. And I'm not trying to drain money out of you people either. I don't know, there, there's a hard way to be nuanced about that kind of thing. You know, like the Gandhi method doesn't entirely work. You can't do something like that and so, oh, I'm entirely selfless. I, I don't ask for anything from anybody. I'm entirely self-made, 100%. Never asked a thing from anybody. That's unrealistic. <laughs> To say the least. Like at best that's ignorant and at worst that's like just jacking off your ego like oh I'm such a good person I'm so good oh I'm such a good fucking person I'm so much better than all of you. I'm not I'm even with all my bitching like you know bitching about the person um, I bailed out and all that other stuff I'm not saying I'm better than everybody else you know that, that's something that other people have to judge. If you start judging yourself as better than other people, then you better be damn fucking sure you're right about that. Yeah, Fusion Shard Productions is right. It's um, <clears throat> not that hard to mod, so I don't I don't think I need like 90 mods. Don't don't look at it as like a title or anything like that. You ain't you ain't, you ain't getting any special favors from me. I just I just handed it out to people that seem like the um, are paying attention to the chat and don't mind you know helping me out a little bit. But I, I don't need like 100 volunteers, and I'm not like paying anybody so. The only reason you would beg for that kind of thing, honestly, the way that works is the kind of people that would beg to be a moderator are the last people that you'd want to be a moderator. You'd, you'd be the absolute worst. Because you have a conflict of interest at that point. It's like, yes, power. Oh yeah, power. It's like, that's the exact type of person who abuses the shit out of power. So yeah, if you if you want to be moderator, say a bunch of cool shit in chat. Give me that. Hey, thanks Gumpy. Thanks for sniping them bitches out. I'm I'm sure they're just making new YouTube accounts, but if that's how they want to spend their uh, afternoon, then no well, more power to them. I'll show them for banning me for spamming. I'll make a new YouTube account. Oh, I got banned again. I'll make another YouTube. Oh, I got banned again. 
It's as easy as a simple right click on our end. So, you know, have at it. Yeah, the nonchalant shalot says, I don't know why people would want to be moderators anyways. Everyone just starts pestering you for different things. Totally correct. The people that make good moderators are ones that um, show a genuine interest in the content and don't ask to be moderators. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still trying to strategize on this map. Maybe I'll try uh, picking a corner. Yeah, we'll take the sword, hack through some fuckers, find a nice little little campy corner. Here we are. This looks relatively safe. Oh, well, you know, unless I stop paying attention. Archaic Scorpio says, lol, I remember one time I had to ban 40 plus accounts on a personal chat of mine and they were all the same damn guy. It, it's always like that. <clears throat> That is one personality type I don't think quite existed before the internet. We really need to be able to associate that with some kind of disease, you know? Like, there's clearly a mental disease. Want a ninja sword? Come on! Okay, shut up. Well, all right. <clears throat> For fuck's sake, they really amped up the speed on this. Like, somebody mentioned that earlier, and I was like, oh, well, I, I guess they sort of did. But yeah, this is like, like they said, it's like four times faster now. <laughs> Which would be fun as like an alternate mode, but to just straight up flip the script on people. Mm. It's a bit of bad patchwork, if you ask me. Yeah, if I run in circles like this, I'll probably all kill their friends, but, uh, and these shotgun guys are assholes. Silent Ask, is this the same helping from Danger Dolan? Yep, I'm that guy. I don't know what happened to that fucker, but ain't letting that slide. Fuck! Hey, it's Attack of the Hank. How's it going, buddy?
Yeah, I was really pissed off today, but this game's kind of cheered me up. Nah. <clears throat> yeah, Caleb Williams, you can slice a bullet out of midair. You can throw a gun to stop bullets, but that being said, it's not a super great strategy in this particular mode, especially considering how fast the game runs now. Oh, I'm out of here. Nope, just keep moving forward. Don't look back. Yeah, it'd be significantly harder to fucking slice a bullet out of midair now, man. Like, I just barely tap on the controller and the fucking bullets start flying. Uh, yeah, the way the Dolan videos work is that they give me a script and then I just do what I want with it. So sometimes I just go straight off the strip, sometimes I don't. It all depends on how I feel. And if there's a, you know, tight deadline or whatever. Okay, different map. <laughs> Almost unlocked them all. There's one more map to go. Matthew Ortega asks, what's the backstory and plot of the game? Uh, your friend sends you a game called Super Hot, and you play the game, and then the game takes control of you, and then you uh, kill yourself in VR, and you have some kind of awakening, and then you figure, oh... I'm gonna spread super hot, then super hot gets spread around and everybody plays super hot. That's the plot. Neon Man says, ever used an AK? No, I've used a uh, Mini-14, uh, AR-15, SR-25, Mossberg 500, uh, SNW-44, Colt-45, Glock 9mm, uh, let's see what else, Auto-5, and uh, a few other guns that I can't quite remember the names of at the moment. Yeah, Tag of the Hank, fucking stream this game. It's great. Can I hammer a bullet out of midair? Nope. Well, cardboard box that shit. Grab a wrench, hook that shit. Grab the gun, shoot your friend. Throw the gun, punch your shit out. Grab the other gun. And who's behind me? There's always someone behind me. I guess it's not this time. That's fine. We'll move forward. We'll just shoot that guy. Who cares? Yeah, okay, so the center of that warehouse is bullshit. I don't want to be there at all. I want to be over here. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, one of these.
Wow, there, there really aren't many good places on this map to be all sneaky and hide. There's darts on the walls, though. I want one of the darts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where's more darts? Oh, it doesn't kill? Well, that's fine. I'll throw all three of them in. Uh, this guy, yep. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Archaic Scorpio asks, Hey, Helbin, what gave you the idea for the dingoes in the volcano episode of Danger Dolan? Uh, you know, I, I just felt like going apeshit on that script. The volcano script was kind of matter of fact, a little bit bland. No offense to the writer, all the facts were there, and you know, it was a good script, but I figured, eh, let's just go apeshit with it. And that's pretty much where the dingoes came from. Because they mentioned Australia. And thanks to the 80s, my knowledge of Australia is pretty much delegated to big knives, alligators, kangaroos, didgeridoos, and dingoes. Fuck this level. <laughs> yeah, fusion shards. If you, if you want me to play a game, best way to get me to do it is to just give it to me. Then I'll, I'm not going to say I'll feel obligated, but I'll, I'll probably play it if you give it to me. I mean, that that's just good common manners right there. So see, I did the warehouse. How much more do I need to get the last level? 239 kills. Woo. It's probably not happening tonight, huh? I need to find that one level. <clears throat> nope, not this one. Let's go looking for levels. Yeah, nonchalant lot. If somebody buys a game, it's likely that I'll play it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you to go out and buy me a game. You know what I mean? Do that if you want to and you have the money, and I, I certainly appreciate it. But don't feel obligated to, and don't don't do it with like huge expectations. I mean, I, I will say I'm I'm a grateful person if somebody does something nice for me, but I don't want somebody who's like, you know, only got fifteen dollars in their bank account going out there and buying like Honey Pop, and then having me have to say, well, I can't play Honey Pop because YouTube will, you know, do this or that or the other. You know, that, that puts me in an awkward position and puts you in an awkward position. I'm not trying to force anybody to do anything, all right? Oh, yeah, and the other thing I should mention, if it's an online multiplayer game... <laughs> I might have to adjust the stream to 30 frames per second and do some other uh, fuckery because right now I'm pushing my connection to the limit. So if it, if it requires me to go online and the game takes up like, you know, four megabits of my internet connection upstream, then, uh, nah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Gonna rack up some kills the easiest way. Yeah, if you're playing this game and you want to rack up a bunch of kills, just get over here with the sword. They're only going to spawn out of that area. You can go hack them up. Well, here's a good chance to test out the uh, slicing the bullet out of the midair feature. Just whack that shit. There you go. Yeah, if, it, if it's buffering a bunch, you, you might want to refresh. Let me look. Yeah, see, YouTube says the stream health is good, so might be on your end. And while I appreciate people in chat telling me that the stream died, <laughs> uh, 
Well, it's it's YouTube's end. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to keep talking about buffering because then that's it's going to be the buffering stream. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the uh, glory of streaming. There's always an issue in there. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Like I, I could probably do with... Uh, <clears throat> what I probably need to do is stop tr <laughs> stop streaming at 60 frames per second for one. Like while it's novel and i do like 60 frames per second my internet connection ain't ain't quite cutting it i think so maybe drop the 60 frames per second maybe adjust a few things here and there well uh, thanks for dropping an attack of that hank maybe i should try twitch too i just kind of i kind of like keeping it centralized on youtube you know what i mean Have a good one, Attack of the Hank. We'll talk later. Ah, shit. Oh yeah, that's right. Attack of the Hank. T Attack of the Hank ha uh, committed the cardinal sin of having fun. So YouTube done put the blockity block on his ass. Yeah, Captain Crush XLI. <laughs> Dumbass made another account to spam. Of course they do. This is it's. It goes back to the. Shit I was talking about, man. People love some attention, but they don't want to work for it. <laughs> uh, Silent, I, I will say this right now. Nobody waste your money on walking simulators. I will not accept those. You won't lose your money. You'll be able to refund it, but if, if you send me a walking simulator or something that that's just awful. I'm not gonna, not gonna play those. Like I, I might make an exception here and there, but you, you better, you better be damn sure you got the money to burn if you are gonna pick up something that you know I don't like. It's like Hellbent hates this. Let's buy this for him. Um, no. Ah, fucker. <clears throat> well, chat's having fun thinking of what games to send me that I would never play. <laughs> what's, what's, what is it with people and wanting to ruin a good thing? It goes back to the chat spammers. It's like, hey. Here, here's a good here's a good thing that could be positive. Let's fuck it up. Oh yeah, let's fuck it up. Well, I think people in chat are just having fun, but thing about the internet, it's hard to tell whether people are serious or just joking. And I'm quite sure there's a lot of people that would just as soon <laughs> be like, yes, let's spend a let's let's buy fucking train simulator with all the DLC for a thousand dollars and gift it to him <laughs> that'd be the meanest gift thinking about that you know like train simulator with all the DLCs like somewhere around like a thousand bucks it's like the most expensive game on Steam <laughs> imagine being some rich bastard 
than taking like a thousand bucks and gifting somebody like the full edition of Train Simulator, like, you know, a thousand dollar gift to somebody that you know is not going to like it. So it's like, here's this thousand dollar video game gift that you as a video game player never going to enjoy. Oh man, I'm thirsty. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, uh, no, no, honey pop. Like, first of all, dating simulators and, uh, what do they call them? Uh, visual novels? Those aren't my thing. But second of all, anything with like nudity and like lots of copyrighted material or something from a company that's notorious for DMCA's and shit, uh, I can't play those live. Wow, this game has gotten so fucking fast. Uh, Clarik F says, what about an RPG? I mean, maybe, but the likelihood of me finishing, like, a super long RPG is entirely based on how fun it is to watch. It's not even how fun it is for me to play. Like, I like Diablo 2, but the chances of me doing a Diablo 2 playthrough is kind of slim because grinding, you know? Who, who wants to... Okay. Technically, I'm kind of grinding right now, but it's an action game. I'm like, I'm literally trying not to die here. And the game's, uh, whatever patch they did to it has made not dying exceedingly difficult. I guess the problem I'm having now is that I'm just moving too much. Oi mate get no scoped or oi mate get scoped said Joe's Hellbent. What's about your general's videos? Uh, I got bored of that game. I'll probably play it at some time in the future, but <clears throat> I mean, I played that game for so long. There's like, there's literally over 24 hours worth of material of me playing Command and Conquer. What more can I possibly say about the game? <laughs> not that it's not going to happen, but if I do play another Command and Conquer, it's probably going to be like the Command and Conquer 3 campaign or something like that. And even then, after so much Command and Conquer, that would be a little bit fucking boring. At least for me, so... <laughs> Uh, I don't want to start putting up video content towards me going like, yep, and then I, then I built the war factory. Then, then I, then I built the fucking, fucking tank, and then I move the tank over here, then I do this. The thing about RTS commentary is that it's really hard to commentate on it. It's like just describing what you're doing, you know? So unless it's like a RTS with a brand new story, or not, not a brand new story, but something I haven't done, then probably not going to touch it. <clears throat> like, for example, generals. What would I do with generals? Do more skirmishes? Play the general challenges over and over and over and over again? I don't know, that just seems... I mean, I, I guess I can see why people would want to watch it, but on the same end, it's not that much different for me just reposting the stealth challenge over and over again. So, uh, not, not super likely for me to do any general's content anytime soon. Maybe CNC3, maybe Red Alert 2, maybe Red Alert 3. But uh, my, my desire to play those games is uh, not very high. If 
Fusion Shard production says Far Cry Primal. Uh, you know what? The thing about Far Cry Primal is that I know that by the time summer hits, they're gonna start selling it for like 30 bucks. <laughs> so I'm not buying Far Cry Primal right now. I'm prob next purchase is probably gonna be uh, Dark Souls 3 and Doom. Those two. Uh, yeah, Matthew Mendez, I am excited for Dark Souls 3. It looks like it's going to be a good one. Yeah, see, the, the thing about this game being faster is that I don't think it's a problem of the game being harder to play i think it's just adjusting to the fact that i need to like tippy toe around a lot more Uh, Silence says Roblox. I'm not a pedophile, so I don't think I'll be playing Roblox. If I were going to play Roblox, I'd probably make a map that has like a white van and a bunch of candy. And every, all the players have to collect the candy while avoiding the white van. And if you get in the white van, then it's game over. That'd be fun. Mmm. <clears throat> oh, Hunter Harrison, they're making Halo Wars 2. Mm, nah, I might play it if it's good. I thought Halo Wars was all right. Cards Against Humanity. You know, I believe there's a video on Dot's channel where we played Cards Against Humanity. But maybe maybe I'll set it up. I'll have to contact some close friends and get them in on it, though. Mendez says poker night at the inventory. Maybe uh, I'll have to check that one out. Like, I know it's more than just poker, but doesn't that game have like a lot of its own commentary? Isn't that kind of a game that talks over itself? See, I wanted to do uh, the what is it, Tower of Whatever Monsters game, the like sci fi uh, top down shooter game. But when I played it, I'm like, wow, this, this game commentates itself. There's there's not much for me to say about it. The game does it by itself already. So because of that, it wasn't a super good choice. As much as I'd like to do it. Fuck! Uh, played through the first three Halos. Uh, I have an Xbox 360, but I don't have an Xbox One, and my Xbox original died, so... That's going to make playing through the first three Halos a little difficult. I don't like yeah, I miss nothing. I have not said anything interesting over the past 30 minutes or maybe this entire video. Man, that's that's a matter of opinion. 
But I'm having fun. That's what's important. I'm gonna try to get to like 20 kills. And then we're gonna have a little Q&A session, you and I, chat. And then after that, we'll probably just wrap this up. Yeah, keep shooting, fuckers. There we go, hit 20. Yeah, I guess Halo 1 and 2 are on PC, and I do have Halo 3 on the 360. Though, to be honest, I don't even think I want to play Halo 1. Like, I've tried playing it before, and it just didn't... Eh, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to play Halo 2, to be honest. Like, I like the games, but... It just didn't quite age. Like, I'd like... But hey, you should fucking buy them for me. I'll play them. Matthew Mendez says, how about a MOBA? I did some smite on the channel and it really didn't perform well at all. It, it, nobody wanted to watch that. Uh, Oi mate get scoped. I don't know. I, I might do the Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 challenge mode and finish up on that. That could be fun. Maybe, 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 maybe. But I'll have to plan that out. I've got a lot of stuff I also want to play personally, you know. <coughs> but uh, let's do some more q and I'm, I'm watching you, Chad. Letting this replay play while I talk to all of you. <clears throat> Special thanks to Gumpy the Sexually Frustrated Milkman for moderating chat tonight and Re the Dragon. Stand up people keeping them Russian spammers at bay. And whoever that nerd was that kept making new accounts just to fucking spam the chat, that's pathetic. Oh, Hunter Counts. No, I'm not going to have people mail me games. No, 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 no. I appreciate the offer. But, uh, nah. <laughs> Matthew Mendez says Eve Online. Fuck no. If I wanted to be an accountant, I'd be an accountant. I'm not playing Eve. You pay a monthly fee. You, and streaming that, Jesus. I, I doubt I could even stream that. It would just destroy my internet connection, wouldn't it? Archaic Scorpio asks, what's the difference between Halo, Battlefield, and COD? Well, Halo is sci-fi and has moon jump physics and health regeneration. Battlefield has tanks, larger maps, and like level destruction, and COD is just, just a straight-up twitch shooter. <clears throat> Oi, make get scope says play Farmville. Nope. Clarik F. Any requests? Uh, any requests? I should draw you next. Uh, draw what you feel, what you like. That's more interesting. It's nice to be surprised. Hello, Tristan Taylor. Uh, there, there's an Arabic name I, I can't pronounce. Play K Kentai Collection. I'll look it up. Planning on doing any console games like PS4 or something, says Metal Neck 95. Maybe Earth Defense Force 4.1 may do more of that, and maybe Bloodborne. Maybe. <clears throat> I don't know. That's a big maybe. Oedipus Rex says, have you played Warframe? Yeah, I like Warframe. That's a good game. Hunter Harrison says, are you interested in Star Citizen at all? I'll wait until they finish Star Citizen. I'll just put it that way. Gumpy the Sexually Frustrated Milkman says, isn't there a language war in ARC like English versus Mandarin versus Russian? Probably. 
That wouldn't surprise me. You know, I, I bought Ark on a Steam sale, and I've yet to even boot the game up. Just because I know, one, those games are kind of centraled around uh, trolling the shit out of people, and two, always a huge learning curve. You know, it's like, hey, you you want to you wanna devote four hours and just learning how to basically play the game? Oh, yeah, boot up Ark. So maybe I'll do that some other time. Awesome one says Hitman Sniper. Yeah, I'll look that up later. I mean, I'm not saying I'll play it, but I'll check it out. If I don't know what it is, then I, I can't say whether or not I'll play it, but keep asking. Fusion Shard Production says, what about some Pokemon? They are free. I might play uh, Pocket Mortys, but no Pokemon. and Nothing Nintendo. Not that I don't like Nintendo, but uh, they don't like me. I guess is the best way I can put that. Subliminal pe peacock, yeah, of course you're allowed to make art of me. I don't, I don't own your pen. You, you draw what you want. If it's me, then go for it. I, I, I'm flattered, even if it's unflattering. Nonchalant Chalant says, Hellbent, I have a real game suggestion. Give Legendary a try. I'll look it up. Thanks for the suggestion, Nonchalant Chalant. Rituku Gazi, you honestly surprised me when you replied to one of my arts. Well, thank you for drawing it. I am flattered. Uh, Matthew Mendez, uh, my, my Steam name's Hellbent TMA. So, you know, that that's out there. You can, you can go spam me with invites. I warn you, I don't accept friend invites anymore. Because I don't have time to uh, fuck around on my friends list and uh, deal with that, you know. I end up having like 90 people asking me to play CSGO. And, uh, that ain't happening. Otipus Rex asks, how do you feel about No Man's Sky? I mean, they put on a good presentation, but I haven't really seen the game being played yet, and I'll just wait until it comes out and see what people actually say before I spend money on it. PXG says, how about Firewatch? I don't like walking simulators. Ooh, David Mignat says, War of the Monsters. Uh, you know, I got that on PS4. I got the HD version. I might actually do War of the Monsters someday. I really like that game. Anything by Inco Incognito is fun. Fusion Shard says, Ark has an offline mode. That's interesting. I'll have to check that out then. Matthew Ortega says, Favorite handheld game as of now, Earth Defense Force Portable. That's a fun one. James Parra says, what about Demon Souls? I have Demon Souls on my PS3, but... Eh, I don't know. It's good. It's just... That's a, that's a, that's a fucking commitment. You know, when, you're ask, when it comes to taking on an RPG, you gotta play from start to finish, and that could take a long time. Subliminal Peacock asks, Hellbent, what do you think about the new Ghostbusters movie coming out? That looks awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> they fucked it up. <laughs> uh, you know, if it, if, if it comes out and that movie's awesome, then awesome. I'll be happy for it. But, man, that trailer was not flattering at all. The acting was terrible. You know, I could forgive all the other dumb bullshit in the Ghostbusters trailer if the acting was good. That That would be fine. <clears throat> but instead, like other people have said before me, it, it comes off like an SNL skit. Like a high-budget SNL skit, except that they spent all the money on CG and sets and not actors. Uh, Arabic guy with anime blowjob avatar says, Have you played Jaws Unleashed? Nope. Cursor Emmy says, So a few days ago I got on the bus and gave the bus driver a Yu-Gi-Oh card instead of my bus pass. That's a good story. Uh, Nintendo probably has a long list of people. They don't like Hellbent. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Fuck them. <coughs> Pokemon Moon and Sun. Yay, I guess. Yeah, Grumpy. I mean, what do you think? You think they're going to make a Pokemon game that's revolutionary, or do you think that they're just going to make black and white again and <laughs> call it Moon and Sun? Because I'm kind of thinking it's the latter. 
Uh, Archaic Scorpio, yeah, you could PM it to me. Any art that you got done. And I'll take a look at it. But, uh, you know, uh, you should probably try to make a Twitter. Not that I like Twitter. I fucking hate the place. It's a cesspool. But it's really convenient for sharing art. Fusion Shard Production says, so uh, if Nintendo doesn't like YouTubers, why are there so many YouTubers playing Pokemon? Probably because they just like the game. And while I enjoy Pokemon, I'm not like a huge Pokemon fan. So I'm not willing to waste my time and have Nintendo like throw ads on the videos and block them in several countries just to uh, play a game I like. You know, there's plenty of other games to play. And I'd rather not encourage Nintendo to be dicks. Jack Daly says, do you like to eat stuff? Yeah. Uh, Play Game says, please subscribe to my channel. No. Matthew Mendez says, I ain't telemarketers. Me too. <clears throat> Metal Neck says, any games you won't try, I won't try walking simulators. I won't try dating sims. I won't try visual novels. And I won't try anything that's packed up with a bunch of content. That'll get me content ID flagged. I won't play anything pornographic. I won't play anything by publishers that are known to be dicks like Nintendo. And that's about it. Uh, and I won't play genres I don't like. Like, I'll play something that's, like, I'm kind of iffy on. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, Viva Wag says, I Sims 2, you can actually see Command & Conquer in FIFA in game section. Uh, I'm not playing Sims 2 or FIFA. Tristan Taylor says I watch SNL. Um, I try, but that 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 that's a uh, <clears throat> that's a show that's gone down, 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 downhill, and still hasn't died. You know, at least Simpsons knocks out a good episode once in a while, but SNL's kind of ugh. Uh, Oedipus Rex, not nah, I, I don't. You can you can let the subscribe to my channel people post. That's kind of funny. It's a little bit pathetic. Maybe we can educate them a bit. Hey, Carlton Banks. There's moderators. <laughs> oh, boy. Matthew Mendez, ever played Blade Symphony? Yeah, I like Blade Symphony, but it's a little bit rough. The awesome one says, what does TMA stand for? Too much ass. What constitutes a walking simulator, says Fusion Sharp Productions? Anything to where a majority of the game is just me walking around looking at shit. Silence says, what about the World of Warcraft movie? I, I was never too big in the World of Warcraft, but, um, you know, if it's a good fantasy movie, it's a good fantasy movie. Blizzard does good CG. It could be good. PXG asks, have you ever played Team Fortress 2? Yeah, I played Team Fortress 2. Probably nothing I'd do on here, though. Team Fortress 2 is always kind of bland to me. That's just my opinion, though. Archaic Scorpio asks, what's SNL? That's Saturday Night Live. It's a skit comedy show that has celebrity guests. Used to be really good. Kind of sucks now. Oi, mate, get scoped. Hellbent, are you hyped for Outlast 2? No. I didn't like Amnesia. I didn't like Outlast 2. I didn't like Outlast 1. The uh, Hide and Seek gameplay um just doesn't appeal to me i get it but the thing is games don't spook me so you know if if i got really scared i'd probably play five nights at freddy's and slender man and fucking uh, all those games but um the only one that looked remotely interesting was soma and even then that that, that was more fun to watch than it was to play i don't and most of my commentary on that would be fuck this place fuck this game fuck this shit and that would get old after an episode, so eh, I don't want to waste my money or anybody else's on that. <clears throat> Nonchalant Chalot says, do you do game collabs with anybody else? Basically is what his question is. Uh, I do stuff with Dot's House of Shenanigans. If you check out that channel, there's lots of riffs on there. 
I highly suggest checking out Dot's House of Shenanigans. Again, that's Dot's, Dot's House of Shenanigans. God, my voice is dying. <clears throat> Bye, Retro Piganator. Have a good one. I'm glad you've gotten over your hospital visit or whatever that was. Yeah, Red Dragon, I'm kind of with you. The last game to scare me was like the first Resident Evil when I was a wee little tyke. But that was mostly because I didn't understand how the game worked. Once I figured out how the game worked, it became less scary. Oh, thank you, Tristan Trailer. I'm gl Tristan Trailer. Tristan Trailer. I'm glad you liked the videos. Silence is helmet. Could we add you to the 360 and play games like GTA 5 or Goat Simulator or something? No. Why the fuck would I play Goat Simulator anyways? Otopus Rex says, would you fuck me for money? Nope. Yellow Marshmallow says, play Until Dawn. I like the concept of Until Dawn and I watched a Let's Play of it. And then right about at like part two, I was like, nope, never playing that shit. But it was fun to watch. Yeah, Reed Dragon, I'm uh, making you uh, flinch because of a jump scare isn't being scared. That's being surprised. So it's more of a surprise game than a horror game. It's like a Jack in a Box or somebody playing Peekaboo. Uh, Reed Dragon, I've not tried Among the Sleep. Eh, re, uh, I, I appreciate that, but the games that make me feel helpless don't really appeal to me. Ah, uh, retro, retro Piginator. It's okay if I have Zyka. I'm not pushing out a baby anytime soon. <clears throat> yeah david minette i remember ring of fire that was uh that wasn't a bad movie it wasn't a great movie either metal neck 85 says what about undertale i like undertale but that's been overdone like, there's nothing I could commentate on that game that hasn't been said before, or shown before, so... Eh. Welcome back, Gumpy, the sexually frustrated milkman. So, yeah, we're, we're about to wrap this up, so... Last round of questions. Last round of questions, come on. <coughs> Oedipus Rex says, what do you think about people that try to push ideas on other people? I think they are massively insecure, and if you have to push your ideas on people that badly and feel compelled to, your ideas probably suck. Ooh, Matthew Mendez, that's a good idea. Skullgirls or Mortal Kombat? You know, Pringle the One would probably play some Skullgirls with me. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Uh, PXG says, story behind that PFP helmet? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what PFP is. Don't use acronyms. <laughs> All right, you, if you use an acronym, make sure I know what it is. Metal Knight at 95 says, opinion on MKX DLCs, the fact it's not coming to PC is bullshit, and I will buy it on PS4 when it's 20 bucks. Archaic Scorpio, opinion on ranting videos. Well, if somebody wants to bitch about something and people want to listen to it, then that's all fair. But don't try to force people to listen to your bullshit. <clears throat> Sarik F. Ask, what type of music do you listen? I listen to chip tunes. Chip tunes. Look up chip tunes for the wind, volume four. That's a good one. Zenokai have any good stories? Yeah, but I've already told a few tonight, so no more stories tonight. 
Chris Estevez, would I consider doing something for Cynical Brit? Sure. Yeah, I like I like him. He's cool. Draco Stryker says, when can we see your face? When I when I make enough money to do this for a living, you get to see my face. How's that? <laughs> that way we're all happy. Nonchalant. Chalant, do you have an answer to this question? No, I don't have an answer to this question. Arabic name with anime blowjob avatar asks, any plans for the weekend? Yeah, Saturday night stream, work, and beating off and napping. Retro Piginator says, what's your dream job? Just doing this shit. Doing this shit and being able to uh, move anywhere I want and work out of the home. That would be fun. Thanks for following me on Google Plus, Tristan. Uh, evidently, if enough people do that, you end up like getting certified. For whatever that's worth. Mr. Horizon asks, what at, what caused you to join YouTube? Well, uh, my phone, my Galaxy S back in the day had an upload straight to YouTube feature. I was like, wow, I'm going to record my screen with my cell phone and upload it to YouTube. No, actually, it went before that. What happened is uh, there was a contest for a Twisted Metal game. And if you want to see my face, this is how you do it, actually. Um... They said, hey, uh, record uh, your your fan reactions to Twisted Metal, and we'll put it in the game. So I busted out my shitty camera at the time. Little uh, digital camera that was really good at taking photos, but sucked at video. I mean, a standard cell phone camera, like, blast that shit out of the water. But back when I had it, it was like 600 bucks, and it was a hot shit. But <clears throat> that's besides the point. Um uh, I submitted four videos to Sony, and Sony said, all right, we like them, and they put them in Twisted Metal Head-On Extra Twisted Edition on the PS2. So if you want to see my face, check out that PlayStation 2 game. And that's what caused me to join YouTube, because I had to upload them to YouTube for the uh, thing. Matthew Mendez says visual cleanup detail. He's fucking joking about that. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. <clears throat> My bones one two one. What sort of shit did you do before you worked with the other huge guy? I fiddle fucked around with Flash and I played Command and Conquer. Then I got tired of that. Then I started working for Dolan. Things just kind of moved forward at a interesting, reasonable pace, one step at a time. Retro Piginator asks, what do you think about people who make up stupid things that make no sense like more girl emojis? I don't like emojis. I think they're stupid. I think I hate, if I could delete one, if I could delete two things on the internet, it would be emojis and memes. I'd just fucking delete the shit out of that crap. Draco Striker asked, one of the few people to pronounce my name right, can you narrate a story I'm writing on Warpad? Probably not. I'm actually kind of busy on that end. Um, sorry. Oh, yeah, that's the other problem with the Xbox 360. I'm not paying for a gold account. I never use it. No real questions. Matthew Ortega says Civilization 5. Eh, maybe. 
Maybe. We'll, we'll see. I'm kind of caught up in XCOM 2 at the moment, so maybe once I'm done with XCOM 2, I'll look into another strategy game. We'll run it like that for now. No more, no strategy games until I beat XCOM 2. Oedipus Rex says jingle keys. Yes, jingle keys indeed. Have a good night, Retro Piginator. Hello, Hydra. Yeah, Silent, I like Twisted Metal as well. Sucks Sony doesn't treat it very well. They take down the servers. They barely fund games properly, so when they do get a new game out, the fucking servers suck. And in general, they just neglect the shit out of it. We used to play Twisted Metal 2 PC on Kali. That was a fucking... That was a chore, man. It would take us like fucking 40 minutes to get a six-man game running because we had to quit, keep restarting the game until it would work. Good times, but man, rough. Oi may get scoped. What happened to CNC Generals 2? Uh, EA said they canceled it due to user response, but I think it had more to do with the fact that they spent three years developing it and barely had shit done. The Awesome 1883 says, what's the story behind the profile pic? Um, it's an old internet photo. I guess you could, you could call it a meme, but back then we just called it a funny photo. And it, it, it wasn't an end joke or anything. It's just like, look, look at this picture. It's funny. Instead of, look at the fucking goofy face. You know, this is actually a joke at somebody's expense. Not like, I drew in men paint. A lol, random, random, random. <laughs> fucking retards. Let's see. Uh, who isn't playing XCOM 2? I don't know. You know, I can understand why people like the first one better, but I, I like both of them. They're fun. Fusion Sarge says, let's give Telvin an Xbox One with one year gold. If you gifted that shit to me, I, 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 I couldn't take that. That's too much. I appreciate the thought, though. You know, if you want to buy a game on Steam, that's one thing. But uh, don't, don't go buy a whole video game console. You know, unless you're like fucking Uncle Pennybags. In which case, just donate it to my fucking, uh, donate to my channel. And then I'll, I'll go buy the Xbox One. <coughs> By Foxy Toxy. Oedipus Rex asks, what franchise do you feel is the most mistreated? I can name three. It's Mega Man, Twisted Metal, and ooh. I had a third one in mind, but now that I'm thinking about it, well, what, what's as mistreated as Mega Man and Twisted Metal? Hmm. Re Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident Evil. See, so yeah, Resident Evil, Capcom has two of them and Sony has one. <clears throat> Shadow Winter says, what's the point of sports video games? I get it. I mean, I, I liked playing King Griffey Jr. Baseball on the Super Nintendo, but I don't really give a shit anymore. Archaic Scorpio asks, what franchise do you feel is way too overrated? Well, a couple of years ago, I would have said Assassin's Creed, but I think people have gotten wise to that. So I guess these days, um... Okay, you know what? <clears throat> it's Undertale. Undertale's too overrated. I like Undertale. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I like it. It's not a franchise, though. That's just a single game. So, answer the question a little bit more uh, accurately. What franchise is overrated? <clears throat> Yeah, Fusion Shard kind of has it right. Every shooter ever, but. <laughs> eh, you know, I'll say Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto's a bit overrated. They haven't really advanced the game as much as you'd hope. I mean, it looks better, but other than that, not much. KS Magic. Oh, you know what? Franchise is overrated. It's fucking Pokemon. Because it's literally just the same game over and over and over again. That that would be the one. Grand Theft Auto V at least did some stuff different. Added a more robust online mode, which kind of sucks. But 
Pokemon's literally just the same fucking thing over and over again. <clears throat> that American guy, yeah, Saturday Night Stream still gonna happen. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dovabonk says Hydra every MOBA ever. Yeah, uh, Dovabonk, you're right. Uh, the MOBAs are pretty overrated, but they're not technically series or anything like that. They're all individual games. Well, I guess except for Dota 2. So Dota 2, there you go. Yeah, Redragon, I like Pokemon too, but you gotta admit, it's it's literally the same fucking game over and over again. At least for people that really like Pokemon, that's great. But for people like me, that'd be like, hey, you know what would be cool? A Pokemon MMO. Never gonna happen. <clears throat> oh, Lily Solif, I'm, I'm just about to wrap shit up. Sorry. I'm glad you jumped in, though. <laughs> If I had time, I would stay on for another five hours just for you. But my voice is cracking up like I can't do the sexy fucking radio DJ shit because the inside of my throat's all dry and I just sound like I'm stalking you. Like I'm on the phone and I'm out behind your window right now and I've got my knife and I'm coming for you, baby. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, what time does the Saturday night stream usually start? Uh, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Chaos Magic, I, I kind of answered that. Yeah, Pokemon. Like, I appreciate Pokemon, but now the, the franchise that I hate the most is Assassin's Creed. I never saw the, uh, I never saw why that was fun. It seemed like a, a lot of, seemed like a waste of time to me. But you know what? <laughs> One man's, uh. Trash is one of the other man's treasure, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks for watching. Have a go. Uh, I'm, I, I might. My metal neck 95, I might. Oh, I'm glad you're turned on. I did phone sex for a while. It was fun. Like, you know, a little bit gross, but still fun. Like, you want to talk about making people happy. <laughs> Jesus. The best part was when people cried afterwards. It's like, oh, yeah. Mm, take it. Oh, fuck you so good. Mm, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Oh. And then you can hear that they just fucking climax, and then all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> but, you know, they don't hang up, so, you know, you leave the phone on because... And then you get more hours. So that works out good for you. But <laughs> some people would cry for a long time. <laughs> it, honestly, I, I had to hit the mute button because there it wouldn't. <laughs> when someone cries after something like that. Oh, God, is it funny? It's like you, you're just screaming for me to fuck your ass deeper and come inside of you. And then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably a good place to end it, huh? Yeah, I see chat's exploding on that shit. Well, I, I will leave you on a high note then, and it's been two hours, so that's good. Thanks, Re the Dragon. Uh, thank you, Gumpo. What was I keep forgetting your name. It's great, though. No, Gumpy, the sexually frustrated milkman, and Re the Dragon. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I'll see y'all tomorrow, Saturday night stream. We may have a couple of special guests. We may not. They're all working for free. Ah. They're all working for free. So, you know, if it's a special show, it's a special show. If it's not, well, I'll be there and nobody else. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.